All right, listen. Before we get started, just in case, you can hit that beep right there. No notification bell, subscribe, holler at your boy, whatever. But I just wanted to talk real quick about people saying that you can't incorporate the streets to your to a legal daily life format. That's bullshit. You absolutely can. And what I mean by that is you don't have to seek the maximum of a dollar to generate more wealth. I'm not wealthy none whatsoever. I work a nine to five. I got two or three side businesses. I'm nowhere near wealthy. I'm nowhere near comfortable where I want to be, but I'm okay. It's only getting better. It's, it's climbing each year. Things are happening. But what I'm saying is, if you think, if you take care of a customer, they will be loyal. They will take care of you. But you have to take care of them. I would not go against someone in the same business with the same product, same exact product, and charge more if they're already established. They already have a customer base. They're already loyal. I just started up. I just moved in. I'm not going to charge the same thing that they charge or more, especially not more. That's moving backwards. Okay, you say, well, I'm trying to get as much as I can, but that's where you're going to start to lose because this person over here is already established and has a customer base. You're trying to develop one. So why would they come to you for the same product when they can go over there to where they've been going and been getting treated well for a cheaper price. You're charging more over here. It makes no sense. Okay, so let me break this down again. This is, let me put use some street terminology. This is where learning from your old life, if you've been in the drug game or whatever, you don't have to brag about it. It's nothing that serious. What you can learn things from the street because you'll learn how to monopolize and saturate, manipulate money. So, if you buy 20 golf balls, for example, let's say 20 golf balls, you want to sell them, you want to make double your money, so you want to make 40. I have. 20 golf balls. I don't want to double my money. I just want to make some money. You're already established. So you're going to sell your golf ball for $2 a piece to make 40 bucks. Right? I'm going to sell my golf balls for $1.50 a piece. And I'm going to make 30 bucks. Okay. You say, well, I'm getting more money. I'm making more money. Yes, but it would take you longer to sell those golf balls. I'm gonna sell out a lot faster because for one, I've just cut your, I've just beat your price. For two, why you're gonna lose some of your customer base to me because I'm selling the same product with a for a better price. You're gonna lose some of your customer base because now they feel like they've been messed over. Yeah, you can't always go out. Well, but you say, well, I'm making 40. You're only making 30. By the time you make that 40, I've already made the 30. And I'm starting on trying to make another 30. When the due process of you making that 40, you've lost half of your customer base. So now I've gained half of your customer base. So I'm making 30 two times as fast as you're making 40. You understand what I'm saying? So I've probably made about 120 bucks before the time you've made that 40 after maybe the second stint it's hustling 101 I never tried to get the most out of anything for one you need to make you have to make the customer up, feel appreciated let them know you're not trying to mess over them. for one I'm a black business owner or a black entrepreneur I'm not going to go mess up with somebody that's in the same circumstances as me. I want you to feel good, and I want you to enjoy the product, and I want you to feel happy about the price, and I want you to feel good enough to spread it because word of mouth goes a long way because if I made you feel like you didn't get messed over and you enjoyed it, you're going to tell the next person. 
Now, they might not come, but if enough people hear that to your mouth, if you tell 10 people and I get one, that's a win for me. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's more than what I had. So you have to understand the hustle. If you think that taking every dollar, charging as much as you can to someone, is going to put you at a different level, you're wrong. Because even before you get started, you'll be broke. Or you have to shut it down. you lose. So... If you come in the game and you're fresh and brand new, you have to build your customer base, build your, build your customer loyalty, treat them right. And even if you get to a certain level, they're going to be so consistent and so loyal to you, you will reap your money. Maybe down the line, you, you might have to go up if something, the cost of a lot of things go up. Oh, fine. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you respect your customers. You always treat them correctly. You never try to take the last penny. Greed will make you go broke. Streets can be incorporated into business. It's easy. One on one, all money, it's not good money. Respectable money can go a long way. And I respect anybody who hustle or however they get money. If you want to get the most out of your money, you can. But just know where you started, you can finish there, you can finish under, you can finish above. It all it all depends on, on what you put in it or what you want to do. Just always treat your people right, man, because it's going to come back around full circle. You know, people feel appreciated. Just make people feel appreciated. That's all I say, you know. We can get more into it, but I just let this be a part one. I'll explain more later. Just a quick one just to let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. If you ain't already, subscribe, hit the notification bell. When I drop some jewels, you'll be able to be the recipient. Holla.